Back here courtside at the McKenna Center on the Westmoreland Sports Network. Now it's time to talk with the first-year head coach of the Seton Hill women, Coach Mark Katarski, our first chat in 2014. Happy New Year to yeah, you, Coach. Happy New Year to you too, Dan, and I uh, want to thank you again, as always, for everything you guys do for us. And, you know, we were – Honored to be on that top 25 list. That's kind of a neat thing you guys do. We appreciate all your efforts. Yes, that was something we were actually going to talk about at halftime. Congratulations for being on that, Coach. And uh, I'm sure you guys used the noisemakers and everything on, on New Year's. Had a good time at home? Yeah, Jayla stayed up till about 1030. Wow. She was a trooper yeah. and, and she was knew. loving it. But, um, yeah, she went to bed, and I think her mother and I just sort of uh, – eased into the new year would probably be a good way to say it. So. Well, your Griffins didn't ease into the new year. You guys, uh, a great start to the new year for you, Coach. Um, just talk about the last two wins over Mansfield and last time out against Kutztown. Yeah, you know, uh, going on the road is hard. Going on the road um, with snow and with weather and all of that adds to it. I'm really, we're really happy with where our group is. I think we figured out our formula. And every team in the country wants to figure out at this time of year what it is that makes them work. And I think for us, it's sharing the ball on offense, and it's really defending as a team. And I thought we did that more than anything out there that weekend, held both teams to 56, and really, I think, showed that when we want to play together as a group and guard as a group, we have a good chance to do that. And hopefully we can continue that tonight. And this Lock Haven team is way better than a record you'll see. They got their personnel back. Um, they're plenty good, and hopefully we are more focused on us and worried about what we need to do. And I think it's proven that if we do that, we'll have a chance. We talk a lot about the talented girls on this team. One of them has really heated up offensively recently is Tierra Stossel, coach. I want to get this right. 69 points in the last four games, 17.3 a game in the last four. Um, leading minutes getter for you. Great defender as we've seen her play here in the last four years. Yeah, and I think Tierra would tell you, be the first to say that it's as much her teammates as her. You know, I think we've, as we move the ball more, um, people know about Katie and Paige and how they score. Tierra becomes that person that's a little more available. And Tierra, you know, her, her ability to succeed isn't an accident. She puts in the work and gets the shots and does all the time. And, you know, we're happy for her, but I think it's a product of our whole group playing well. And that's what I mean when I say when we share the ball, those are the things that usually happen. We'll find the hot hand when we do that. You guys go up against a Lock Haven team here tonight. When you look at it on paper, like you said, they're struggling. Ten losses on the season. Uh, you guys are 8-5. and five. But as we've learned in this conference, you can't ca uh, take anybody for granted. Yeah, that's the lesson we've learned. And more importantly, it doesn't matter about the other group. It's about you and what you do every night. And I think that's been our message and our focus the last few weeks more than anything. You know, people want to talk a lot about our IUP win. That was more about us being us. It wasn't about them or something tricky we did. It was us as a group saying, in practice, this is what we have to do to succeed. And I think that we've done that the last few weeks. And again, is another opportunity tonight to see if we can continue with that. Keys to victory for your club here tonight, Coach. Well, I think for us, we got to get back and stop them. This team really runs with pace, and they really feed off of being able to score easy. And that's no secret there. And then by the same token, trying to rebound the ball on both ends. Um, to be able to slow them down a little bit. But this group is going to get with some pace a little bit. We found that if we can make people earn their points, that helps us. Um, but it, when the pace gets higher, that's where we seem to not be as suited for it. But, um, you know, they're plenty good, and I think this will be a good test for us tonight. And, and we'll know where we're at as we get ready back to the West next week. Yep, it's going to turn into a, a big meat grinder for you as oh. the PSAC West play starts back up. Coach, good luck to the Griff Squad tonight. Dan, appreciate it. But thank you so much. Coach Mark Katarski back to the McKenna Center right after this message.